Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another garage organization video. I have done what, two of these? One of these? One or two? I don't, I don't even remember anymore. Once again, this garage is a disaster. Between us getting the duplex and having to like take all the equipment over there, fix things to build things to like do all that, and now bringing it all back. We have trash everywhere, we have scrap wood everywhere. It's just an unorganized mess and I need it to be organized. I wanna be able to focus on building more things and accent walls. So in order for me to do that, I need to have a clean working space. I'm gonna go in with the things that I'm looking forward to the least, which is ripping that out and trying to fix and salvage that shelf that's back there. I don't know if it was when they were working on the house, they were banging and hitting so hard that the shelf just fell or if I had put too much weight on it and it just fell down one night. Let's start off with that stuff and then we'll make our way into the actual like, equipment. Life goes up and it goes down. That I figured why we fool around. So and we keep track of time. Being so serious. All right, so as I'm looking closer, so all of those clips that are supposed to hold it against the wall, all of them broke. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. That way it's not like hanging, but yeah, all of these have to get replaced. And then I remember all things must pass. Now that that is done, I think I can put a couple more stuff over here. This is like our beach shelf. So this is like beach chairs, beach umbrella, beach playpen. This set is just like extra shelving and extra stuff around the house. I wanna make the shed like the designated area. So I'm gonna be taking all the paint gallons over there, any extra piping stuff, the floor, all the extraness that is gonna take me a hot minute and I already know I'm gonna be sweating. I'm gonna take it to the shed. So let's first evaluate the shed to make sure there's space, which there should be, but Let's make sure. So yes, yeah, so there's definitely plenty of room and space for us to do this. This is all extra toys. There is some stuff in here that shouldn't be in here. So I already have some paints in here. I could have used this for so many projects. I forgot that I had this. So if I just organize this enough, I know that I can make everything fit. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady cause I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere. They keep saying I'll be fine, but how you know that I'll be there when it feels like I'm lying every time someone else. I'm almost done. It's looking good. I ended up moving the miter saw on this side, which I feel like provided more space for the, the riding lawnmower. Um, and then I hung this up, but I still have all my wood over here. I eventually want to do some bigger, thicker shelves and organize my scrap wood that way because there's a lot of good wood in there. And then there is some that I probably can't ever use that I could get rid of, but that's like an entire day's project by itself. So I need to get rid of this mirror. So I'm thinking of cleaning it up, bringing it inside. So that way I can work on it inside and possibly sell it because I don't have anywhere to put it, but it's so cute. I love this mirror so much. I'm thinking of putting a couple screws in the wall just to hang these up. Notice that they do have like a little spot that you can hang it up because this just ends up everywhere and then the time that i go to do a job my all of my batteries are dead because i couldn't find it there's actually already a screw here so i might just put it right in there and call it a day My father-in-law actually gave me this giant bin so that way I could put all of the tools inside of for when I like have jobs, I just throw everything in here versus like inside of bags. And that is so convenient. So I'm just gonna leave that right up there. And now this is all clear again. Yay. I feel like I keep having to do all this work just to bring it back to normal. Like I'm not even doing anything extra. At least now we can walk in here and we know where everything is. I still have two more big things to do. I have to break down all of the boxes and I created a pile of the stuff that needs to go in the back. Shining, but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby. Don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around. And then I remember all things. 
was must. All right, so I took a shower. So now the next thing that I want to organize is my work bag. This bag has everything literally just thrown into it. And I know exactly what's in it. But when I'm in the middle of working and I have to like dig through the bag to find it, it's just annoying. So I just want to lay everything out and organize it as best as I can. I actually have all of these cute little bags. I have all of these little makeup bags from when I was doing the Ipsy subscription. And I don't have that much makeup to need all of these bags. But what I can use them for is to organize all the screws, the drywall anchors, the regular anchors, all the different types of drill bits, so like the regular screw bits, like all of that stuff. Like I can separate them in these individual bags and that way I know exactly which bag to grab for when I'm looking for something. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff in here that doesn't belong. Let me, let me show you what this bag is looking like right now. Look at this. Imagine trying to find one single screw in all of this. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's a hot mess. Some of them I've kept them in this, but like they open up while they're in here and then it just goes everywhere. I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady cuz I'm happy. I'm not gonna wake up. No, no. It's 120 and I still have to do all this. for the drill bits and then I put all of the bits back in here that were supposed to be in here some of them are for the routers some of them are for pocket hole maker I just put them all in here this one's simple this one was just the rubber bands so they don't fall everywhere this one was all of my little paint brushes I always like to keep these on hand for my projects this one is all the different types of wrenches this one is all of the nails whether it's just regular wall nails or for the nail gun this one is all the different types of screws. This one is the size that I'm always using, which is one and a half inch screws. So I just put them all together. This one is all glue and tape. This one is all the different types of monkey wrenches. And this is all of my wall anchors. So different types of wall anchors ranging in different sizes. They're all in individual baggies and then the big ones are inside of the big bag. And then this one is all the miscellaneous stuff that didn't necessarily need their, its own bag, but they range in different types of sizes. I have the pocket hole screws in here and then all of my pens and pencils are in here as well. And here's my bag now. So much better. Everything is organized and easy to grab. And now I feel like I'm ready for my next project. All right, well, it's 2.05. This little one's awake. So that's all that I could do today, but I'm really happy that I got all of a sudden a burst of energy and I was able to do that. I hope you enjoyed watching this theme with me, organization, getting my life together video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.